I remember seeing Andrew Scott in Dying City. I would just remember being so like upset and uh, I just thought Andrew was, and, and Sean were both incredible. And I was so upset, a stranger next to me put their arm around me and said, it's okay. <laughs> and I remember just going, oh, that's how it should be done. That's how you make an audience like engage. I think the Royal Court's important because it feels like a theatre that's run um, by passionate people. It doesn't feel like it's just about like money or, you know, celebrity. It feels like it's about en encouraging and nurturing new talent and, and, and also topical stuff, which is, is, is really important. I feel like that's why it's such a great theatre. They're encouraging new young people and and um, they're loyal <laughs> people. I, I just feel like it's a great theatre and just, I, I, if it's not broke, don't fix it, I suppose. <laughs> I remember doing the Vertical Hour with Indra Rama and her partner is Colin Tierney and he did The Seagull at the Royal Exchange when I was um, about 15. And I saw that play like five times. And in the dressing room, getting ready for like press night for the uh, vertical hour. And then Colin comes in and I was like, oh, Dracorin, if you want my heart, come and take it. And he was like, what? And I was like, this is just a magical day for me. <laughs> I love you. I think you're amazing. This is my press night. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose that's quite a memorable day. <laughs> if the Royal Court didn't exist, I wouldn't have um, experienced some of the most exciting um, pieces of theatre that have really driven me and encouraged me as an actress. And I probably wouldn't have so much love for theatre as I do because of this place.